Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome back to Exclusive Models. Hope you have a wonderful day. Today's episode is going to be on how to cut a dress with a long drop sleeve. The sleeve I'm talking about is that's a pleat around the shoulder. So that is why you can you can call it a cut together with the sleeve because of the pleat around the ammo. You can see it. So that is what we'll be cutting out here. I'm using four and a half yards of this fabric. I'm using two yards for the body and I'm using two and a half yards for the sleeves. So the first thing I'll be folding out here, I'm going to cut out two yards, then fold it into four, then take the necessary measurement for the body. The after folding it into four this way, you can see this is into four equally. So the first thing I'll be taking here is the length of the dress. The length of the dress is going to be 58.5. 50, with the same allowance. 8.5 is here with the same allowance. After taking that, the next thing I'll be taking is the back measurement. The back measurement here is going to be 8 inches. 8 inches for the back. The next thing is shoulder slant. I'm using shoulder slant of half inch. So from shoulder slant here, I'll be taking arm measurement of 7.5 7.5 inches for the ammo then the half cut is going to be 15.5 inches for the half cut you can see so the bust measurement is going to be 9.5 inches that is 38 then i'll be adding one inch of seam allowance to it then the waist measurement is going to be 30 inches that is 7.5 inches in four places the seam allowance of 1.5 inches here then i'm going to connect them together so this is after connecting the waist to the bust the bust to the shoulder you can see so the next thing is just to slant this down to the full length when you're slanting down like this, this is how to cut it we're just going to cut it like this a little bit so if you are doing this you can see the remaining wideness here it must you must know the hip measurement of what you are sewing so that by the time we cut it out it won't be too tight at the hip point here so that is why we are going to take the hip point the hip point is nine inches then the hip measurement is the hip measurement is 42 inches that is 10.5 in four places is going to give us 42 inches with the same allowance of one inch so by the time we want to slant we have to do like this then we slant our a like and see it now you can see the way we're going to slant it out like this this is after cutting it out from the center of the back and front to the shoulder slant from the shoulder slant to the ammo from the ammo to the waist from the waist this is where the hip measurement is then we slant it down to the main length you can see so for this for this area not to be touching the gun you have to give it a nice shape so i'll be taking two inches up like this then from here i'm going to slant it to the length of the dress you can see just to give it a nice shape this is not constant and it's not necessary if you don't want it to but yeah just to give the dress a nice shape so you can now see how the shape looks like now so the nice thing to take here is the neckline the neckline is going to be a round neck, a round neck with a loop at the back. So the wideness of the neck here is going to be three inches, and the deepness of the neck here is going to be two inches for the back, then three inches for the front. Then we're going to connect them together this way. Then I'll cut it out.
so i'll be taking four inches down for the slit at the back the four inches from the cutting ear four inches is here then i'm going to slant it down to that four inches you can see so the next thing we are done with the cutting of the body the next thing is cut out the sleeves so this is after folding the remaining fabric the remaining two and a half yard of fabric into four places from here now we're going to take the length of the sleeve and how can you get the length of the sleeve to be equal to the length of the dress i'm going to take one of the dress now so i'm taking this then i'm going to take the measurement from this ammo ear the down the ammo ear to the full length of the dress to the full length of the dress so this is 50 this is 49 inches you can see from the hammer to the full length this is 49.5 inches then i'll be making it 51 inches because we're still going to tack it at the side of this so after doing that the sleeve length is a long sleeve as you can see then from here i'm going to take the measurement the measurement from here is 22 inches this is the exact long sleeve that we want so the way i'll be cutting the armor of this sleeve now is not going to so that it won't affect it won't affect the length of the sleeve that much then what we need here we need a pleat around this you know we're going to use this to make a pleat around the armor so that means this area must, so that means this area must be wide enough to be able to pleat it around the armor so I'm going to take two inches away from this side two inches away like this this is two inches then from these two inches let me take seven inches here then this is from this seven inches I'm not going to take a measurement of 52 inches you can see a measurement of 52 inches with the same allowance you can see it so that means we're going to cut from here let me sketch it out after this now what we need here at this part here is like a drop shape a drop sleeve so from here, I'm going to make a curve to the down part. So, starting from here, you can see the shape of the drop. You can see? It's like a slant, but it's not going to be sharp. Just, we are going to, we are going to make a curve, a little bit curve from here. Then you hand it. At this upper part here so by the time i cut it out you're going to see it. so let me cut it out now this is now the shape of the slip you can see it for the first one and for the second one so this is the area we are going to pleat around the arm you can see you can see the area we're going to pleat around the arm this is going to be at the down part and this is going to be at the 
at the sleeve at the upper part of this is the upper part now and this is the down part so let me go and join it to the body and show you the finishing welcome back this is after joining all the cuttings together you can see this is the sleeve and to the length of the gown you can see you can see the shape of the sleeve you can see how beautiful it is so i'm just going to put the trimming at the head here you can put any trimmings of a tray just to beautify the style this is the belt i cut out six inches then I fold it into two, I use half inch to stitch it, then I turn it to the other side. So this remaining wideness is just 2.5 inches. This is the pleat. You can see the pleat. If you want this pleat to be more full than this, you can make use of five yards of any fabric. So that means the two yards is going for the body, then the two and a half yards, then the three yards. Is going for the sleeve so by the time you fold your three yards into four you'll be able to see um an excess more than this by the time you fold out the three yards you take the length from the hammer to the length of the dread the way we took it then you take the length of the sleeve the mini length will be enough for you to take the pit when you cut it out in a circle this is the back it has a loop at the back right so the way i told you this is after doing the two shoulders then i'm going to buy the neck line then put my loop attach my button to it then we're going to have the back like this you can see the shape now this is the shape So, if you are watching me for the first time, at the end of this class, please make sure to subscribe to me and turn and on your notification bell so that whenever I upload any tutorial, you will be notified. And for those people that have already subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate you guys for watching my video. Always see my next class. Bye.